This is the bottom panel. To get started, I want to start installing hinges in the middle of each section. This will allow the door to turn in the track. On the end of the door, a hinge goes at each section, and then we drop this roller into that to keep the door in the track. On the bottom is a bracket that we attach the cable to that goes up to the spring to help lift the door up and down. We also insert another roller in that to keep the bottom of the door in the track. Now the weather stripping fits right on the bottom of the door like this. We just tilt it right into place. It'll follow the contour of that rabbit. Tap it up. To fasten it to the door, we take our bracket and lay it on top of the weather stripping. Then I'll screw through the bracket, through the weather stripping, into the door. I'm going to use these coarse thread lag screws. You're not screwing into the foam, are you? No, there's actually a piece of wood that runs right up the end of the door that gives us some structure to screw into. Now we'll take the panel and put it on the floor against the opening, and then we'll center it in the opening. Okay, right about there. Now I'll take one of the wheels and put it in the bracket. One in the hinge. Now I'll take the track and just wrap it right around the two wheels. A little bit of space between the track and the door. Now I want to lag screw the track to the frame. I'm not going to screw the legs in too tight in case we need to adjust the track later. Okay, Dennis, let's do your side now. In the center of the door, I'm actually using a different lag screw. It's a machine thread. Instead of a wood backer in the center of the door, there's actually a piece of metal. All right, we're ready for the next panel. Now what I want you to do is walk towards the stairs because I gotta turn the door into the track. Okay, now walk the door into place. Now we drop it down on top of the first panel. Now I wanna make sure that the two panels are flush on the end, which they are. Now I've pre-drilled the hole right here for my lag screw, so when I tighten the lag screw, it will pull the door right into place. Now on this end of the door, I didn't put the hinge or the roller on. The reason for that is we wouldn't be able to get the door into the opening. So now we can just roll it into the track and position it and screw it on. Now I want to make the track parallel with the edge of the door. And to do that, I'm going to eyeball it so the space is equal. Tighten up my lag screw. And I got to put one up at the top. With this nut loose right here, I can slide the track in or out. So I push it in a little bit, and I pull it out just a hair. I don't want it to touch it because I don't want to create any friction when the door opens and closes. Move up to the next one. Pull the door out a little so I have a little bit of a space. Tighten it up. And do the top. Now we're going to make the transition between the vertical track and the horizontal track. And to do that, we're simply going to screw it in place. Okay. Okay, you got it there? Okay, good. All right, Dennis, you ready to put the last panel in? Definitely. Now we couldn't put this last panel in until after we installed the horizontal track because we didn't want the door to fall in on us. Okay, line it up and I'll screw this hinge on. Hold it there now, you got it? Yep. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna put the top wheel on, slide it into the track, and bring it down so it just has a little bit of tension on it. Bring it up a hair, screw it in place. All right, we're ready for the last roller.
Now we're ready to install the spring. So install it up there on that hook, Dennis. The spring is actually the muscle that actually helps pick the door up. Now before we can attach the springs, we have to physically pick the door up. Are you ready? Ready. On three. One, two, three. Up. Okay, now to keep the door from coming down, I'm going to take my vice grips, lock it to the track. Okay, let it down easy. Beautiful. All right, with our door up, we now have access to the bottom panel, and that's the bracket on the bottom corner where we will attach the cable. Now the cable gets attached to that bottom bracket, goes up over the pulley. Okay. Let me know when you have it there. Yep. All right, now I'm going to take my end of the cable and put it through the pulley on the spring, tighten it up a little bit, and then I'm going to take the end of the cable now and put it through this little bracket. Go through it this way, down through this way. Take a little bit of slack up. Put it through that loop. Okay, now... I'll take an S hook, hook it on the bracket. Now we install the S hook to the track. Great. With the door closed, there's an awful lot of tension on this spring. And if the cable or the spring should break, it could fly away. And to keep it from flying away and getting anybody hurt, you have to put a safety cable through the center of the spring and attach it to the bracket. Okay. All right, Dennis, let's check the tension on the springs. Well, that feels good. It's nice and easy.